What is up everyone out there? This is Help Me Help You 96 and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some domination on drive-in. And this gameplay was recorded when I was in, in East Syracuse, New York. Now I'm running a kill streak loadout of 8, 9, and 11 and I'm using the Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dog kill streaks and I get one Dogs, two Chopper Gunners, and two Blackbirds. And I'm using the ki I mean the um, class setup of a commando with a motion sensor, set of hand pro, ghost pro, and a hacker. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm not going to talk about the gameplay right now. I'll talk about it a little bit later. But I'm going to talk about I was in Ohio for the past two weeks, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoyed just chilling out there. It's different from where I live right now because I live in. Cambridge, which is near Boston, a major city of the United States, and it was different for me. I used to live in Ohio. I used to live there for about seven years. Wow, that was a long time, and it feels like a long time ago, even after a year of living in Boston. But anyway, so I enjoyed my time there. I apologize that I didn't bring you so many gameplays, as I promised that I would bring you one every day, but now I'm back in Boston, and I will be bringing you guys a lot of gameplays. And um, in this gameplay, I actually go about 42 and 6. And I think it's definitely worthy of you guys to see it. I know you guys like watching the new DLC maps and everything like that. Um, the reason I didn't put a suppressor on this gun is because I feel as though I just cannot use a suppressor to be successful because I, I used to, I even unlocked the suppressor on the uh, commando but it wasn't working out for me it wasn't working out for my team because we weren't winning so anyway I'm glad that I switched to the dual mag because I feel as though these you know assault rifles have 90 bullets with a 30 original bullet clip and I just feel as though that's not enough to get up to an 11 kill streak and as you'll see I do pick up guns to become continue my kill streak but I did get up to an 8 kill streak with just the commando, so that's why I like it, because I can just work by myself until I really do need a gun. And, um, Drive In. Now, there was lots of speculation that Drive In was going to become a map more like Nuketown or something like that. And, you know, I don't see it. I don't see it being like Nuketown. I don't see it being like any other small map like Stadium. It's its own thing. It's based in, as you guys know, a Drive In theater area. And, um, I think that it's really cool what they did, how the, that screen right there behind me flashes and changes pictures and everything. And I like how there are places to hang out, like, not hang out, but, you know, sit around in and wait for people. I don't do that, but, you know, like, there are people who do, but I like that there are options for them to do that and just, like, give you an... I use them just to overlook the map and see where the sp enemies are spawning and where they are. But I think it's important to have those in maps because it, it gives a nice variety to the map. Um, I'll talk about a Annihilation right now. I, I like Annihilation in full, like the whole map pack altogether. I like it. I think it's worth getting. I would say, as many other commentators say, it is the best one of the Call of Duty series. And I think that you'll, when you jump into it, you're going to be a little bit surprised. It's a little different than other maps, but you know what? You're going to enjoy it. So I decided to call my Blackbird after I died, which was right after I called in my chopper gunner. So I call my Blackbird so I can get on another kill streak. I go on to a nine kill streak again here, but I couldn't get my puppies because I was uh, had two people on me when I was trying to kill one person. So. Anyway, that's okay. Um, another thing about this map is that it's a little bit differently laid out than um, other maps. Its its color scheme is a little bit darker, and also the B flag is very, very vulnerable compared to other maps like Hangar 18, where... Oh, well, actually not Hangar 18, because at Hangar 18, the uh, B flag is also very vulnerable. Now that I come to think about it, the B-Flag is vulnerable in many other game types and game modes in Annihilation, so... 
whatever. I, I But it's different than any other map you'll play, to be honest. I think that when you jump into this, um, you're going to be... It will take you a little bit to adjust. It took me a long time to get a, game, a decent gameplay on this map because uh, just because that it's just it's its own unique thing like many other things in the game it's it takes time to acquire skill and time to figure out with the enemy spawns and everything like that um the best thing to do when i feel as though a new map pack comes out is to go online and just go into the annihilation um you know playlist and then play any game type and just get familiar with all the maps. I think that's the best way to do it, guys. So I just was waiting there to get a kill so I could pick up his gun so because I was running out of ammo. So I pick up this uh, reflex sight on the FAMAS, and then I pick up my Blackbird there, call it in, but then you'll see here that I could not... There were two people on the other side there, and I, I tried to shoot one of them, but he kills me, whatever. I should have been more patient and went around and flanked their side, but whatever. I have a gameplay on Hangar 18 where I get dogs twice and don't fail like I just did. And I feel as though that would be helpful to you guys as well, just because, you know, it's Hangar 18, new map and new strategies and everything like that. So, call on my second chopper gunner as you guys knew before. My first chopper gunner gets shot down as, like, this one does too, and it gets shot down pretty damn fast because they probably want to get Ghost Pro or something like that. So, whatever. They have the right to shoot it down, and they should shoot it down to help out their team. It's definitely understandable. Nine kill streak. I mean, pretty hard to get to, but not terribly hard to. And, you know, I was going to experiment with the gunship, but I noticed that sometimes the gunship only requires one time to get shot down from. And, you know what? It's just when I use my dogs, I get guaranteed at least five kills, and I could get way more than that sometimes. If I'm if I'm in a ground war situation, way more kills than that. So there goes my kill streak, and now I'm about twenty four and three or something like that. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I like this gun setup because I feel as though it's like my AUG class. If you saw my hotel video. It's like my AUG class where I have a dual wield, I mean, uh, dual mag with Ghost Pro, Side of Hand Pro, and Hacker. But this one I feel as though it, the Commando is a good close range gun as well. And also, if you guys saw the St. Andrews gameplay, he's using an MPL in that. And I feel as though I wanted to try getting a video with the MPL because I think it's actually a pretty decent gun. If you're playing on driving or something like that, you can definitely do well with the MPL. With Scavenger, you'll never run out of bullets. And, um, uh, Set of Hand, and also Hacker. I feel as though it's a cool class, rapid-fired MPL. So if you want to try giving that out a shot or something like that, so just check that class out. Maybe you want to try it, whatever. Um, Jamie and I are going to be playing some zombies soon enough. We're going to cut it up tonight as well, and uh, I'll try to get another gameplay. <clears throat> Jamie has a gameplay on Silo, and also on Hazard, which he posted, but he has another one. And um, I think the most difficult map for me to adjust to was Hazard, because it was a map that absolutely was so confusing to me. And I didn't have any idea what to do when I jumped into it. I um, I went around the map, got sniped. I went into corners, got quickly killed from corner campers or whatever. It's just a map that has everything in it. It has snipers, it has SMGs, it has assault rifles, or whatever you want to name it. They have it, so whatever. That's fine. So the game's going to wrap up here in a few minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to go and subscribe to me, that would be absolutely fantastic. And also comment rate as well, that would be great. And if you guys want to also, I'm going to be trying to figure out how to host an open lobby for all my subscribers because my subscribers complain that I don't play with them enough. But I'm sure a few of you out there understand that, you know, I just want to talk to my friends on Xbox a little bit too. So I want to I wanna be there for my subscribers as well so they don't continue complaining. So I'm going to host an open lobby soon enough so so they can be happy with that. Now, 
Um, here I do, I do die. Oh, I do not die. I thought I did die. But thank God I did not. So, anyway, when you do not have the A or C flag, you have to cap one of them because your spawns are so messed up and their spawns are so messed up. It's just necessary that you cap one of them. And I die here from this guy with the stupid FAMAS. Alrighty, guys. Well, it has been a pleasure giving you guys some advice and help on this new DLC of Hazard. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, gameplay's almost over. <laughs> and I think that the mo one last note that I want to make is that you should be outgoing in this map, try some new kill streaks, try some new guns, because you will succeed. So, that's my last word of advice before I go, guys. Have a nice day, and I was the winning kill. Peace out, everyone. Help me help you. Signing off. Bye-bye.